There's somebody behind you! There's somebody behind you! Sophie! Sup guys, the name's Ryan Jagnell and welcome to The Sandman. So, this is a continuation from the other game, The Crooked Man. And I figured, why don't we play it? Um, this is indeed another horror RPG. As I said, continuation of The Crooked Man. I know the story behind it, but I completely forgot how to play the game, so it's gonna be a lot of puzzles and stuff to figure out. But, basically, overall story is a girl named Sophie. That's my nickname. Yay. Uh... The whole town has, the whole world has been put to sleep by the Sandman, and Sophie's the only one awake because she has insomnia. So she's bent on stopping the Sandman and restore and being able to wake up all the people f from around the world. And the one and only we know, David, will be appearing a few times in this game. Yay, David! And as we all know, he's probably most likely engaged to Shirley in this game. Since it's the so, sort of a sequel, but anyway, um, why don't we just get started on this? This is a horror style exploration game with no, nothing too extreme and be mindful that it does contain some shocking imagery. In addition, please obey the following rules of use. Do not reuse any materials from the game. Do not redistribute the game files. Do not use the game to make monetized videos or any other profit. Don't worry about that. Do not remove the credit ro rolls when creating videos. The author takes no responsibility in advance for any trouble or damages indirectly brought about by this game. Uh, we are allowed to make Let's Plays on this, but I guess not make profit out of it. That's totally fine. I just want to, you know, show it to the people out there in the world who want to see me get a little jump scared by the Sandman. But I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of jump scares in this. Shh. Okay. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster moaning in the closet. Um, okay? Hee <laughs> hee, just kidding. Okay. Well, you're still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. The terrifying story of the Sandman. And there's the main character. Morning already. I want to do this in my normal voice because my nickname's Sophie. So, in, re in real life. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, do I? Oh, I can move. Okay, let's look around. The can contains a few pieces of trash. The desk clock ticks on. Small bookshelf. Clothes in the dresser on top is a mess of stuff. Teddy bear! Your favorite teddy bear just washed. He's so, so he's nice and fluffy. Is that our uniform? I guess so. Ooh, I look so cute in this. Oh, um... A phone? A rather old picture taken on vacation. I'm just looking around. Oh, a pot with a burnt bottom on the stove. Bread and the toaster. Oh, yeah. I forgot to toast it yesterday. How do you forget? Oh, whatever. There's a note. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. I left money to take care of yourself for now. Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called me to see her. Did you do something bad? 
I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Love, Papa. Okay. Refrigerator, not too much food. Cupboard, TV, there's rooms. The bathroom, let's wash ourselves up. I got detergent, let's wash ourselves. A bathtub, okay. There are clothes in the washing machine, seems like mostly dad's. The other room, Papa's room, I guess. Computer is in sleep mode. Oh, there's a photo of mom. Lots of books you don't understand. V shirts and pants, dad's closets, dad's suits. Traveling bag takes it on business trips. Wow, does our dad move a lot? That's, do we move a lot or just dad going on so many work vacation stuff? I believe it's time to leave. A shoe shelf, dad's leather boots are here. I don't think there's anything else, so we'll just leave. <laughs> hey, Sophie! You got a painter at your house? Mm. Because man, that hair! How did you get that red without a paint spill? Now hold on, Regan. Maybe she li lives near a hot dog vendor? I mistook the ketchup for shampoo. Yeah, that's gotta be it. <laughs> wow. Bunch of fucking... Bunch of fucking assholes. Miss Grundler, are you here? Yes. I want to talk. Come to my room at once. Are we in trouble? Uh, ah! Wow. Gah. What are you doing, klutz? Hurry up! You're so slow. Seriously. <laughs> wow, such a bitch. No one followed us. Sophie! Um, about Regan. Try not to let it get to you. Um, if she's a bully and bullies me every day, of course it's going to be a problem. But girl, why haven't you stood up for yourself yet? Mm. They're not worth responding to anyway. It's fine. I wonder why Regan teases you so much. It must be hard. Oh, whoops. Wrong voice. Must be hard just being her. I'm the only outlet for her stress. Um, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? Oh, nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. Well, we're friends. I don't really have any friends but you. Hmm. Well, I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I'm sorry. Don't sue me. Come in. Welcome, Miss Grundler. Please, take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. So are we going to an all-girls Catholic school or something? Whoa, excuse me. Miss Grundler, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I'm truly moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm, model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. Whoops. Hold on a second, guys. Sorry, I was doing something. Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grundler, have you resolved what we discussed before? Did we talk? My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh, yeah, so I did. 
Sorry, I'm spacing out. I forgot. It's no good. I just can't sleep. Oh dear, this is a problem. How long have you been without sleep? I get in bed and try to doze off, but I just find myself up until morning. That's bad. That's really bad. You need to go see a doctor for that. How long have you been sleepless? As of last night, maybe about 10 days. 10 days? You need to go see a doctor. That's like not healthy. You could start hallucinating and stuff. Oh dear. Sorry, I can't really remember that either. Oh my! Have you gone to the hospital? You should follow Sister Mary. No. Why haven't you gone to the hospital? My dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him. And it would cost money. Ah, worried about that. But you gotta tell him your health is important. I'm sure he's working for you. Not just himself. I see. I wanted to talk to your father myself, but it seems like it, that's not at his convenience. Yeah, he's busy with work. I'll think about... I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please, don't worry about it. Excuse me, it's time for worship. Are you praying? For what? Pray to the Lord before you sleep. The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you should try it? It may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I see. Excuse me. Oh dear God. <laughs> I'm, I'm not Catholic, so. <laughs> this isn't uncomfortable for me, but it's kind of weird. Let's put it that way, because I don't know much about the... Why is light given to those in misery, and life to the bitter of soul, to those who long for death that does not come? Who search for it more than for hidden treasure? Who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave? Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, whom God has helped hedge in? Wh whom God has hedged in? Sorry. For saying has become my daily food, my groans pour out like water. What I fear it has come upon me. What I dread it has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness. I have no rest, but only turmoil. Dang, you're having a bad life. Job was a man honest and adoring justice. But as well, well as we, but as we all know, that does not ensure that disaster will not befall us. Yes? Through calamity, he saw the truth. The truth that not everything can go swimmingly. Though you may be too young to have such experience. Trust in the ways of the Lord and ensure, endure your hardship. Just as the Son of God had faith in men and bore suffering. You can't do that. If you endure it, you will go to the, beyond the breaking point And you'll just break out in one one day you'll probably lash out at someone you care about that's not healthy that really isn't healthy that is what gives us greater merit really so ends my sermon now let us pray what's that I should shower and get to bed. Oh, oh, we gotta walk now? Whoopsies. To the bathroom we go! In here. Oh, okay. Oh, she looks so pretty though. God, I look awful. Bags under my eyes, the works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. 
I mean, that's what happens. Like, you're so tired. You're sitting on the couch and you doze off. And you're like, okay, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Once you hit the bed, oh, boy, I'm up in an atom right now. I can't sleep. That that happens to me a lot. That really does. Who, 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 I'm messing up my words. Tell me if this actually happens to you. You go, you are dozing off in the living room or somewhere, and you're like, I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired. As soon as you hit the bed, you're like, wow, I'm not sleepy at all anymore. So you're just up there staring at the ceiling. Please tell me who does that so I'm not alone. <laughs> Let's go to bed. And the covers. A prayer before bed. Mom always did that, didn't she? Now I lay me down to sleep. I'm not saying it, by the way. She's the one saying it. The Lord I pray my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, the Lord I pray my soul to take. Stupid. If that could put me to sleep, there'd be no trouble. Now would there? She doesn't sound a lot like me, but still, I try. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, the tinking stopped. Hmm? Something's weird. What happened to the clock? The wall clock stopped at midnight weird i just changed the battery is it broken or what this clock stopped at 12 too what's this about hmm i guess we gotta go out and check papa papa's not here that's it's kind of weird because i call my dad papa or or Papa, I I'm, I know, an 18-year-old calling her dad Papa, that's that's kind of weird for me. <laughs> and I, it's the way I call him. Oh, oh, is that an old man? Hi, it's the old guy from next door. W what happened here? He, he's sleeping? Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, did he trip and hit his head? Oh no, I have to call an ambulance. Wh Why won't they answer? It's a 911 call. If I can't get through th to them, what am I supposed to glean from that? Uh, oh, I need to tell the old lady next door first. Okay, walk around. Excuse me, it's the Grundler girl from next door. Your husband's fainted in the hall. Excuse me, are you in there, miss? Hmm? It's not locked. It's wide open. Miss? Miss, get up, please. What happened? She, she's asleep too. What's going on? Something's weird here for sure. It's you un uh, it's usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? Maybe we shouldn't I I wanna snoop around in the house, but not sure what room this is. Shouldn't go in here. I'm sort of breaking in as it is. Okay, yeah, we'll just leave. Should we go outside? I guess so. Another person asleep on the ground. Why are they all sleeping like that? What the hell is happening? It is is there anyone else awake? Well, first let me see if I find the safe. Hey. All right. Got to explore. The cafe is locked up tight. Ooh, glimmy. There's a map of the town. Got a town map. Okay, so 
I believe that we are up here. West Heights, I think. That's what I believe we are. Ugh. Anyway, I think we're just gonna explore the town more. Uh, there's another person asleep and there's a hospital. A hospital. I don't even want to go near a hospital at night. Yeesh. Yeah, I've heard hospitals at night are pretty bad. Resting peacefully. Okay, what the hell is going on? A boutique gets locked up tight. I don't even know what the hell is going on. A company called J.P. Gordon and Chase. Okay. Let me just... Where are we? Let me check the map again. We're yeah, we're around JP Gordon Chase and Company. That's where we are. <laughs> um What do we need to do? Front door of an apartment. It's open? What? Um I ain't mean to intrude in it, but okay. Locked shut. Locked shut. Locked shut. Locked shut. Locked, 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 locked. So why did you let me in here? I'm just gonna, you know. I'm just gonna go now. Okay, well, there's nothing in the park. What am I looking for exactly? Oh, I know. I went that way already. What exactly am I looking for? This bank is locked up tight. Car for a company called Safety Guard. Um, restaurant locked up tight. Oh, resting peacefully. Okay. It's automatic but won't open. Can I? Oh. Okay. Yeah. This gets weirder and weirder. I didn't end up here, but okay. All the people I've seen are asleep on the street. What in the world is going on? There's somebody behind you! There's somebody behind you! Sophie! Oh. I, didn't, I wasn't the one calling that. Sophie? I don't know whose voice this is. David! Hey, oh, it's David! Ah, so it is you! D David? David, why are you here? I was doing overtime. Then, when I left to go home, things looked weird. Okay, one, one thing's for sure. How does Sophie know about David? A? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I wouldn't do that. It's like everyone else, it's like everyone just fell asleep on the spot. And I took a look around, and I found you. You okay, Sophie? Not hurt or anything? N nah, I'm fine. But I have no clue how this happened. Yeah, me neither. Why would everybody hit the hay? I wonder what if we're the only ones awake. Who can say? Maybe some are awake inside. What? I'll go look to see. You want to come with me? Sh sure. Oh, hold on. Hmm? What? My friend. My friend Anne. She lives in the dorms at school. You want to see her? If Anne's awake, I'm sure she's scared. Since she's pretty timid. I want to go look for her. Well, friends are important after all. I'll go with you. You can't, David. It's an all-girls school. Ah, so I was right. All right, Catholic school. Yeah, no boys allowed, huh? Except no, because seriously, that doesn't... Ugh, whoops. Except no, because seriously, that doesn't matter right now. 
It could be dangerous. Let me go with you. I'm fine. I can do it myself. I go there every day. It's not like I get lost. Alright, alright. Sheesh, man. If you insist. Fine on your own, huh? I'll look around elsewhere and we'll meet up later. Come to the park once you find your friend, okay? Yeah, got it. Sophie! Don't do anything rash. If anything happened to you... Hmm. I can move. Okay, save. Because I'm not going to do all that trauma stuff. Okay, you know what? I think that's a good stopping point for today. We'll continue more with the Sandman in the next video. Gosh, I can't wait. We need to see what Anne is up to. She's probably pretty scared and everything. But still, you know. We met David. Hooray. Yay. Kind of miss David, you know. So yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys like to see more of my videos, then click subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!